Thank you very much for this opportunity to present uh, our projects. It's called Modo Cloud, and uh, we are aiming at uh, improving agility of clou cloud ecosystem. So I will briefly present you what the project is about and what we are doing there. Okay, so um, Modo Clouds is a European project in FP7, and we have uh, various partners for different countries, like Norway, uh, Italy, uh, uh, Spain, um, UK, so um, Romania. Um, so uh, these all partners represent different cases uh, for cloud deployment and when the flexibility is actually required. And we develop uh, some technologies for, for better flexibility and better um, come on here, uh, mastering of, of cloud, de cloud deployments. Okay, so what's our objectives? Uh, we actually work for developers, for business people, for operations people to uh, increase the flexibility and elasticity uh, of, of uh, the cloud infrastructures, uh, deployment speed, and uh, we want to present more services and more flexibility on how to choose the right cloud for, uh, platform for your problem. And uh, another point that uh, we want to actually address is um, the increase of visibility of a small cloud providers in Europe. So we have um, in our partners a small um, cloud provider, Flexion. They're quite active and they present lots of uh, innovation and they want actually to bring this innovation further to the community. Okay, so uh, first of all, let's start seeing what's current uh, motivations for adopting cloud platforms and what the problems, what the people say. So this is a bit current survey uh, and people actually say, say that they adopt cloud for uh, to lower the costs, to have more elasticity, to speed up the deployment of new products and services and to have sometimes better security even um, for, for, the, for, their, for, the, for their infrastructures. Okay and then when it comes to uh, what the biggest problems for the adoption of the cloud and uh, why there is a barrier to, to adopt the clouds in th some companies for some particular cases. So many, says, uh, many say that um, there is a problem of lock-in. So as the first speaker said, so if you buy a car from Amazon, you will need to buy gas from Amazon, you need to buy everything from Amazon. Actually the same thing for, for other, uh, other companies as well. So everybody wants you to the lock in and the in ecosystem and uh, yeah, so then you're a bit stuck. So you have no choice. So, uh, but uh, hopefully there is open source, there is a project like Model Clouds and other uh, projects that actually uh, provides you more flexibility and uh, tries to bring you out of this lock in situation. Okay, and actually many people actually complain about poor, perform poor performance and as uh, many of you can, can try Amazon and others, uh, sometimes the performance is not, is not there for some reasons, we don't know why, so we don't have control. So, and uh, with the Moda Clouds we want actually to mediate somehow the situation and pr provide more uh, control to, to the developers and operation people uh, to control these kind of uh, situations. Okay, so um, in terms of business, so what we want. So business people want to avoid lock-in, to have more uh, flexibility and agility, so um, to more optimization, more automation in an agile way, and to address the cost issues, so for, for DevOps. Okay, and what the developers and operation DevOps uh, actually um, care about is that Okay, there is still a lock-in, so you need to gas from Amazon. Um, and they also lock in tools and frameworks to support many deployments and many infrastructures. And so, to some extent, you're stuck to, still stuck to some particular cloud provider. It's good for them, but it's not good for developers and regular persons that want to benefit fully of this uh, cloud um, story. Okay. So, and finally, um, so the guys who operate the cloud, so they, they want a better control on quality, on performance. So they want to control also it's uh, in a kind of uh, heterogeneous way. So to having multi-cloud deployments and control, they have single control of all, all this uh, deployment. 
and a more simplified um, way to migrate from one cloud to another. So uh, this actually also requires some automated uh, operations and reduced overheads and operations. Okay, so um, let's see. Um, okay, so this is for, for smaller cl cloud providers, so they want actually more, more visibility. And um, they have lots of innovations which are quite interesting, but uh, they're actually kind of hindered by, by, the, by, by the Amazon and others because um, this is big, uh, big uh, elephants in the room. So. And um, so uh, there is some, some ways to do it, so standardization, so open uh, frameworks, uh, open decision tools that could actually spot you the right uh, niche player from the market. And this is what uh, Moda Cloud is about. Um, okay. So uh, one of our concepts, so one of, and we have several case studies there, is that uh, you actually may need to have your application deployed in many different cloud pro providers, the same one. For example, you, one day you got angry with Amazon and you say, okay, I don't understand the prices. So I want some more clear, um, uh, clear um, vision on what uh, what the provider um, charged me, and I go to another one. So how do you do it? So what's what the way? So you need some some uh, tools and frameworks to help you. And um, so uh, we actually have have a, a mission to uh, to help you there. Okay. So uh, in another way, so we also have partners so and requirements so in a way to um, in, a, in a private cloud when you have a peak of uh, peak of um, um, load you would like to, uh, to have some cloud bursting you would like to choose um, quite flexibly what where you can actually uh, migrate some of your uh, load and so uh, so there is a bit bigger case from um, smart cities uh, where this actually required. And this is basically requirements for Moda Cloud and I will present you shortly what uh, we have a, as a concept. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, first, so what, what we propose? Uh, we propose uh, cloud dev development tools. So it's IDE plus specific modeling languages. So all that uh, integrated and um, with different uh, tools for, um, for optimization, for decision uh, support. So uh, to, to have a single, a single um, uh, development uh, environment that would help you to, to go to from cloud, one cloud to another one and to have better control on uh, the QoS uh, settings. Okay, so let us see. So uh, first, I'll give you, we have uh, first level of the tools for decision support. So you have, uh, you have a particular application. So you, mo you can model actually what kind of um, properties you'd need to have uh, for, for your application. And the decision support system would allow you to actually have the choice to see what kind of providers can help you there. So uh, we provide specific uh, modeling language and the tools to specify uh, that, that this kind of your applications and to, to cooperate with decision support system that will actually provide you a list of uh, compatible, uh, compatible um, systems, so systems of your choice. Then, um, sorry, oh, okay. Then um, on the application level, we have uh, specific tools for data ma mapping for particular platforms, for particular b d databases, uh, some modeling for, for deployment provisioning, and also, um, last but not least, the QoS modeling and analysis. So before deploying, so you'd like to have some predictions about how you, your application would behave. And there we, we can actually model uh, these different parameters and have some analysis by the tools. And finally, at the run level, okay, we have, okay, oh, sorry, we have all the runtime support for that. 
for code generation, deployment, and provisioning of the resources, and as well as monitoring. So you specified uh, the QoS there. So uh, you analyzed how, how uh, that actually would behave, and uh, is it possible with your current architect application architecture? And then you need a kind of support for monitoring and optimization. So we provide you all of this, uh, all of this uh, with model clouds. Okay, so uh, I will shortly go to the conclusions. So, um, so what, what we have currently, so what we provide to you. So we provide various uh, tools that you can actually find on our website. Uh, decision support, modeling QoS, modeling deployment provisioning, um, runtime data, optimization. So all of this is available from our project. Okay, so and currently, so about the timeline. So we are currently at month 24 here, and uh, pretty much um, everything is available. So in, in the first release, and um, I invite you to come to Model Clouds and try our tools. Okay, and so we already have some publicity. Uh, we've been um, standardizing our projects with uh, Oasis Tosca, with OMG Cloud Mail, Etsy, and we've been uh, at Cloud Forum uh, for the it's like second, uh, our second, second year presentation for the Cloud Forum. Okay, so, and what the future? Okay, it's good. So uh, we would like to, to have some Model Clouds products, some product marketing, some uh, scientific standardization, uh, scientific papers and standardization, and future projects. And uh, that's basically all about my presentation about Model Clouds. And so your question, please. <coughs>